Hi guys, I'm Shmi and good morning to you on a day that has the possibility to be really rather epic. A little birdie has told me that Lamborghini are delivering a Veneno to the HRO in London Lambo dealer and I'm hoping to catch a glimpse of it later on today. Now the Veneno is pretty rare, there are three production cars and one concept in the world in total. It costs about 3 million euros, it is super special, super rare and crazy in just about every way. So if we manage to catch that later, it is going to be beyond words. But first up today, I'm going to be taking the Ford Focus RS over to Posh Wash to get it fitted with some winter tyres. So the car's running on the Michelin Pilot Super Sport tyres, which are great for summer driving, in fact great for generally all year driving, but this car, as you may know, is spending a fair bit of its life up in Scotland, and over the winter period I'm going to be heading out of London to stay with my family for Christmas, of course, and I want to make sure I'm not going to have any issues if we have snow. So I've got a set of the Michelin Pilot Alpine tyres, they're over at Posh Wash, we're going to be heading over to fit them, you should pretty much always be driving winter tyres, but this thing being four-wheel drive it's crying out for them it will literally be the most awesome bit of winter fun now before I go I'm just gonna pop my camera's torch on just coming around the back here I have a bit of a tire stash of my own going on uh, you can see two sets of tires the first are the Pirelli Trofeo R's for the 675 LT then I've got a set of uh, Pirelli Soto Zeros the winter tires for the Ferrari FF that I'm gonna put on um, eventually as well so step one into the Focus RS Actually, keyless, I've got the key in my pocket. We can do that right now. And then we will get on the way over to Posh Wash. The RS has now done almost 5,000 miles. Which is pretty crazy for this little thing. Um, having a lot of fun with it. But let's get over now, go to Posh Wash. So then, that's dropped off here. In case you're wondering why I'm doing the Focus RS at this moment and not the FF yet, it's because I'm actually about to drive that over to Germany. And in Germany, there is actually quite a strict law about bad weather and driving with winter tires. So I need to make sure that Focus RS is all set up and ready to go. Um, I think my tires have already gone over to the fitment center itself. Um, so they're not actually here, so I can't show you them until they're on the car later on today. Going from errands to errand, I've been out and about, done a couple of things that I needed to get done, but now, at Lamborghini London, where we're hopefully, well I'm going to go in and have a quick chat, but hopefully we're going to be seeing this Veneno a little bit later on. I'm excited and I don't even know if I'm going to see it. And look at what is arriving. So I've timed this pretty perfectly because inside here is the Lamborghini Veneno that we're going to be able to take a very quick look at. You see a lot of people have turned up with cameras to see this as well. As it gets unloaded today and taken into the showroom. This is quite cool. And it's opening now, so let's come and join everyone having a look. And the truck is opening, and there it is. Lamborghini Veneno. settings, the thing that is an absolute monster. Four in the world, three of them, plus this one sort of concept prototype car. The different real cars have different stripes around the side, red one, green one, white one, the colours of the Tricolore. They are doing a wonderful job of being very calm with a lot of people around right now. Can't be easy. It sort of came before the um, Super Veloce SV came, the LP750-4. It's going to be low at the front. And it's up, they got it over the kerb. Amazing. Would you look at this? So I'm going to follow it in. And, uh, have a look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You can just walk around and stare at it. It's got the 
6.5 litre B12 obviously that matches up with the Aventador. The Aventador S has literally just launched, but everything about it is custom. Obviously, the body is sort of LMP1 style, massive rear wing. The lights, the way the reversing lights work in there is awesome. New wheels. Interior is mostly familiar from Aventador. That's a bit different. Just the way you have all of those shapes behind the arch here, this, this part, and the way the air channels up at the back. This is what a Lamborghini is basically about. It's just incredibly in your face, bright, bold, ostentatious. You can mirror it here just to park it up in the window where everybody's waiting to look at it. My word. This is a special opportunity seeing this thing. Wow. Let's take another sort of full look around this then now that it's parked up here. Be a little bit nerdy as well. Top speed 220 miles per hour. Has the seven speed semi automated gearbox familiar from the event door. It's an all wheel drive car, of course. Helps it get 0 to 62 in under three seconds. Just everything about it, like look at the way the wheel arches are cut. It's all ludicrous. This thing is as bold and striking as a car ever basically could need to be. Come back around the front. The name itself, Veneno, is actually named after one of the greatest ever fighting bulls. A bull that in 1914 uh, became a murder bull as it um, sadly mauled the uh, Matador. But look at everything, look at like the headlights, look at the way they're sort of vertically mounted, akin to a sort of full-on race car. All the aggression of the carbon around the front everything about it. The vents into the radiator, the writing on the uh, rear fin. This is, <laughs> well, <laughs> don't really need words to describe it really, do you? Just come and look at the exhaust down here, the quad exit exhaust in the center, the way it's kind of mounted that they go out sideways like that, right down there. What is the design on this car? Everything. The lights, the rear lights. All of the sort of shapes, I guess, hollowed out areas for lightweight. This was built as part of, a part of Lamborghini's 50th anniversary. The different wing mounted options, wing mount options. Fuel cap there on the rear. I've only got a couple of minutes looking at this. But. <laughs> Oh yeah, of course, the scoop on the top. Almost forgot about that. Where obviously air comes in to the engine mounted back here. That giant V12. Basically, this is an exceptionally special, very, very rare car, and it is amazing to see it here. It's actually the first time Veneno has been to the United Kingdom at all, and obviously there are only, well, four in the world, including this, the factory concept, so just being able to have a look around it is quite phenomenal. A random cool thing I quite like is the scoop on the roof that opens up into that fin towards the back. But the funny thing is how that starts to make a normally very special car like this SV Roadster. Well, slightly less special, even though there are only 600 of, uh, 500 of these, sorry, the Roadsters. And then there are 600 of the SV Coupes. And over in the other corner is the Diablo SV as well. But right, it's been busy, it's been chaotic. A lot of people wanting to see this phenomenal machine, the 50th anniversary celebration for Lamborghini when it launched at the Geneva show a few years ago. A truly, truly bonkers machine. Farewell then to H.R. Owen. What a visit, seeing the Veneno touching down on the streets in London. But I've got a couple of other errands to do. And first off, I'm gonna head over to my Aston Martin dealership because I need to do some documentation and stuff to do with the GT8 prior to its delivery, which is gonna be early, uh, early in 2017. There's no point in registering it before because I've got, sorry for the squeaky brakes there, um, I'm away a bit over the Christmas New Year period, so there's no point. So I'll head over there, and then um, see what else is on. The one thing that I really dislike about winter, other than how cold it is, is how early it starts to get dark. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon, and it's starting to get dark, but we've done everything there that we need to do at Aston Martin. But actually, I'm just gonna show you in this sort of second part of their showroom. They have a very nice Golf GT12 sat in there, I guess maybe is for sale. 
which is very, very cool. Um, but we're going to head across the road to Posh Wash, which is literally over there, just inside of this side of Hyde Park, um, and go and see how the Focus RS is getting along. And we're back, so the car's up on stilts, the wheels have literally just gone on, but if I turn on the light, you can see the winter tyres with all the extra tread. It's something that we don't do anywhere nearly enough here in the UK, obviously lots of countries winter tyres are pretty much mandatory, uh, but here the weather is just not quite bad enough to necessarily need them. Um, so people tend to basically give it a miss and just not drive if it's snowing. Um, but for me, I want to go to Germany, I want to use it through winter and I don't want to get stranded. So I pop the Michelin Pilot Alpin tyres on um, to make sure I don't run into those kind of troubles. That's all done, so this is the perfect moment to bring today's vlog to a close. It's been one of those kind of long days, lots of errands, lots going on, and of course filming a Veneno, the first time ever in the UK at Lamborghini London. So the Focus RS has its new shoes. I do that at Posh Wash because they do a lot of wheel refurbishment, that kind of thing. The car itself didn't need any refurbishment to the wheels, but they do it, so it's easy to come in and get that stuff sorted out there. Um, it hasn't been cleaned because it's winter and I'm driving it, driving it every day and it's not actually that dirty, so what's the point? Um, but a pretty awesome day, a lot of fun seeing that car. They're freaking rare! That's really, really cool! Um, but yeah, lots sorted, lots done. Hope you enjoyed the video. But that is it for now. I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers!